This looks like a normal bottle. Until I do this. And yes, I need a new banana. So in this video, I will build a terrarium in this 3 liter bottle. This is going to be a bit of a challenge because it's just so big. That's what she said. I'm trying to add a variety of plants. Mexican mountain palm, Petonia superba, Petonia forest, Peperomia rotundifolia, Pilea glauca, Ficus pumilla white, and some tiny ferns I don't know the name of. It's unfortunately not easy to film something like this, because it is very difficult to position the light with such a big bottle. So in some shots there's a lot of reflection on the glass. I hope you can still see anything. I start by making a funnel out of a piece of paper to add the drainage layer, which consists of some clay balls. Afterwards, I cut some window screen to the appropriate size to keep the substrate from falling into the drainage layer and also threw that into the jar. My key tool here is a long stick. The substrate I will use consists of sphagnum moss, worm castings, gravel and cocoa core. I mixed everything together and put it into the bottle. I decided to add some moss spores to the substrate. I never used them before, so let's see if this will work. Then I added a layer of live sphagnum moss. This will be part of the substrate, but will also grow to a nice layer of moss around the other plants. I also added some lava gravel for aesthetic reasons and to have a dry place for the springtails I will add later. Now onto the planting. I'm starting with the small ferns. You can often separate potted ferns into smaller ones, so I will just use the small one. I will either use cuttings of the plants or wash the roots, so I won't put any potting soil into the bottle. Since the palm is just way too big for the bottle, I also separated it into a few individual pieces. It was much easier with the Fetonia. I could just rip them out of the pots. Brutally. From the Peperomia, the Pilea and the Ficus pumilla, I just use cuttings. They will root into the substrate over time. So I also added the cuttings into the jar and pressed them into the substrate with the help of the long stick. For decoration reasons, I also threw in a little piece of cork bark. Now onto the palm. They barely fit into the bottle. And I had a hard time getting the roots into the substrate with just a stick. But somehow I managed to do that.
Afterwards, I tried cleaning the glass by spraying some water onto it and attaching some toilet paper to the long stick. Let's get some springtails. Here I got some orange springtails out of my new culture. They tend to hide in the substrate when there is bright light. But I managed to catch a bunch of them into the small cup and transferred them into their new home. And they immediately start exploring. I just love their color. It's such a great contrast to the green of the palm tree. A few minutes later, some of them were already deep in the substrate. As a last step, I had to close the bottle. So this is a new closed bottle terraria. Thanks for watching. Thank you.